When faith seems weak, reject fear and doubt. Mark chapter 5, verses 35 to 36. While he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. We have the story here of Jairus who came to Jesus for the sake of his daughter who was at that point in time very seriously ill. And uh, he came uh, with faith in his heart. He came saying, Lord, just come and lay your hand on my daughter and she will live. That was his faith. Uh, that is indeed a statement of faith. He said, Lord, just lay your hand on my daughter and she will live. And so Jesus began to make his way to Jairus' house. And along the way comes someone from the home saying, don't trouble the master any further. She's dead. Your daughter's dead. In other words, there is no more hope now. Uh, she's gone. And uh, uh, the ma that person didn't seem to have any faith that Jesus could do something even though the girl was dead. Now try to imagine what may have happened to Jairus. The Bible doesn't necessarily describe what happened to his faith, but we could probably imagine, we can try and speculate a little bit here. You know, that when Jairus heard that news, his faith may have plummeted, it may have plunged down, and he may have gone from strong faith to weak faith, or we don't know, maybe even no faith, we don't know for sure. But how did Jesus intervene in that situation? The Lord Jesus had one thing to say to Jairus, fear not, only believe. Jairus, here is information coming to you that's going to cause you to doubt, that's going to cause you to fear. But Jairus, I want you to stay strong, fear not. So you and I, as we go through life, we will encounter those situations and moments in life when our faith may seem very weak. Things may go from bad to worse. Maybe you're in a situation where you say, I have strong faith. I can believe that God will change this. I can believe that God can heal me. I can believe that I believe that God will intervene and so on. And you're in a place of strong faith. And suddenly everything just changes. It goes from bad to worse. And, and the news and the and the things you hear and what the circumstances are saying just weaken your faith. They drain out even the little faith that you may seem to have. And what would Jesus tell you and me in a moment like that? He'll say one thing, fear not. In other words, don't give room to fear because fear is the opposite of faith. You see, faith has an outcome based on the promise of God. Fear has an outcome that it anticipates based on the worsening situation. And Jesus said, refuse fear, reject fear, fear not. So when your faith seems to weaken because of what's happening, because of circumstance or situation, first thing, fear not, reject fear. Refuse to let the voice of the situation, the voice of the circumstances rob you or refuse to let the situation dictate the outcome that you should anticipate. Instead, look to the Word of God. Let the Word of God or the promise of God, let Jesus Christ describe your outcome. Maintain that. Reject fear. Reject doubt. Stay strong in faith. Let's pray. Father, we ask that in moments when our faith may seem to weaken, that you will help us reject fear, give fear no place in our hearts and minds. To reject doubt, those things that cause us to question you or your word. Help us to reject these things so that we can stand firm in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.